Hello, Fast Signs franchisees. I got inspired last night. As you know, I've been a big collector of quotes and I came across a Zig Ziglar quote that just totally touched my heart. And it is, expect the best, prepare for the worst, and capitalize on what comes. Just think about that. Expect the best, prepare for the worst, and capitalize on what comes. I don't know if you know, but I'm really fond of Zig Ziglar and it turns out just by kismet, or maybe it's the way it's supposed to be, I now live in the house that he and his wife, Jean, built about 30 years ago. My house has great juju. I mean, it was designed and built by Zig and Jean Ziglar. But as I was reflecting on this whole, expect the best, prepare the worst, capitalize on what comes, I was really thinking about what's going on right now. I think the single most important thing for any one of us is to get our mind in a place of positivity and a place of gratitude. That is not easy, I get it. I also truly believe that where we are with our mind is self-discipline. I learned through years of therapy and I think those of you who know me know that I went through some severe depression in my late 20s and my early 30s. And I learned that I'm in charge of controlling my brain. And when I find myself starting to pile on, and that's my term for starting to think negative and I just spiral down, I even say to myself, stop and make myself stop. So anyway, let's talk about expecting the best. We need to believe we're gonna get through this. It is 100% about our mindset. It's important to focus on what we can do instead of a focusing on what we can't control. We need to focus on what we can do. We need to focus on solutions. And we need to make sure we choose our input wisely. I've always been one with Fox Business on all the time in the background. That's my background music. Now, for those of you on the other side of the aisle, you probably think I'm a horrible person. But for those of you who are listening to MSNBC or CNN in the background, same deal. I don't think you're a horrible person, but that's my background music. And what I have found as far as choosing my input wisely is I'm actually reducing that to maybe an hour or an, an hour in the morning and an hour in the evening and the rest is smooth jazz. That's a decision that I made last Saturday to control the input in my mind. I also made a decision besides focusing what I can do and making sure I'm doing something constructive every hour for Fast Signs or the International Franchise Association to also use the extra time I have to develop myself and to develop my career and to work on my health. Every single one of us who is now spending a heck of a lot more time at home has extra time on our hands. We have the choice of just sitting there and watching Netflix and filling our mind with entertainment or in addition to that, we got to also spend a little bit of time to develop ourselves or to work on our health. And let me tell you, there is no downside to expecting the best. There's no downside to trying to focus our mind on being positive because a positive mindset uses the same neural pathways as a negative mindset. If you're being positive, the negative is pushed out. Likewise, courage uses the same neural pathways as fear does. So if we're stepping out in courage, we're slowing down our fear pathway. So there's also a whole bunch of research that shows a positive mindset has health benefits. So expect the best. So what are some of the things you could do on focusing on what you can do? Examples of things you can do to develop yourself and develop your business. Watch TED Talks. That's better than just watching a drama. TED Talks have such great stuff on leadership and business and science. TED Talks, they're short talks, 15 minutes max. So watch a TED Talk or two every single day. Search for videos on thought leaders like Simon Sinek or Gary Vee. Read books or read eBooks on leadership. Use the University of Fast Signs online and I will be sending you with this an e with an email, a list of we think are the top choices for you as franchise owners to develop your skill set to be better leaders. So you can do all those things to prepare yourself for the future and improve yourself during your extra time. You can also improve your health. Now, those of you that are regular going, regularly going to a gym, you can't go now, your gym is closed most likely, but think about the things that you can do at home or you can do outside. If the weather's fine, you can go for a run, you can go for a hike, but you can do jumping jacks, you can do planks. The cameraman's gonna kill me right now, but you can do squats, right? You can stand in place and do squats. 
something, a little bit, five minutes a day, five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the night to help work on your health. That's important. Stretch, yoga, all kinds of stuff. And then we got to think about our mental health. We got to do something to take care of our mental health because it's real easy to spiral down right now, right? Maybe it's yoga, maybe it's meditation, maybe it's listening to smooth jazz. I don't think it's listening to heavy metal and reading positive quotes to fill our mind. I'm gonna be attaching to this email all of the quotes that's in Fast Signs International's Inspiration Hall. And all those quotes have been collected by me over the years that I use to feed my mind with. What else can you do? Write personal handwritten notes or cards to all of your key customers, words of encouragement. Review your financial statement and get to understand them better. Talk to your business consultant. Add context to your prospect list. You can Google about that. You can look at LinkedIn. Heck, you can use the Chamber of Commerce membership list, but add to your prospect list. Respond to Google reviews, because that improves your SEO. Respond to your Listen360 surveys, because that's good. Now, that's all part of expecting the best and spending your extra time developing yourself and your business. Prepare for the worst. Yeah, wash your hands, absolutely, yep. Have wipes on hand, follow all of the CD guidance, uh, CDC guidance, spend time making sure you and your team are doing social distancing, right? All that is good. And while you're preparing for the worst and doing things like I've recommended, like a cash flow budget for the next, a cash flow projection for the next three months with zero sales to find out when you run out of cash, contacting your landlord about rent abatement, talking to your lenders about uh, an abatement and, and, and uh, letting you go interest only on payments for the next handful of months, all those things you can do. That is all part of preparing for the worst. Also, tell your mind that you're going to do all those things you've been putting off. Start programming your mind. I'm a big believer in programming my mind, programming my self-conscious. So start telling yourself, I'm gonna start doing all the things I've been putting off. Start writing down some of those things you've been putting off. And in part of this extra time you have while you're staying at home, do something every day towards one of those things on the list that you've been putting off. And then capitalizing on what comes. I don't know what that's gonna be. I don't know when we're gonna come out of this thing. I hope it's in three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. I don't know. But if we're expecting the best and we're preparing for the worst, we're going to be getting ready to capitalize on what comes. So if you're intentional during this time about growing your skills and getting ready to, for your business to rebound and making yourself a better leader, then you're going to be better positioned when we do come out of this to capitalize on what comes. I don't know what that's going to be. Maybe it's going to be buying books of business to grow your sales volume, but we're all going to get through this. We are. None of us, none of us is as strong as all of us. So expect the best, prepare for the worst, and capitalize on what comes. We're in this together. Sending you love. Thank you.